Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Cliff. And we're in our home in Long Valley, New Jersey. Camera, where are you? Here in our home, we have three children. We have Lucas, who's 10, Lara is eight, and Layton is 19 months. Can you make my tea? Every morning is a different story at this house. <laughs> Founder, Lucas, and Founder. In this house, I mean, it gets, uh, it definitely gets crazy sometimes. The kids are you know, unpredictable. They can kind of get into anything. Super so, chaotic. It's definitely chaotic. <laughs> Lucas is one of the most loving children around. He'll give you incredible hugs. He loves animals and nature. And Lara is full on sass. She knows how to keep it spicy and how to keep things fun. Then Layton just adds extra fun on top of everything else. Go. Get her. The kids inspire us daily. They know when somebody needs a hug. They make sure that that person feels their love. They don't see any barriers. They don't see any differences in anybody. I think that that's kind of helped us. Lara and Lucas Marini have both been diagnosed with Cockaine Syndrome, a rare genetic rapid aging disorder that significantly affects their development and lifestyle. From head to toe, they have brain abnormalities, so eventually they'll lose vision, swallowing will become affected, talking will be affected. They can't really go out in the sun. Any extended period of time outside and they can get sunburned. They have to be in a temperature regulated environment. In the beginning, you know, you have this, this vision of life when you have a child. There's going to be college, there's going to be marriage, kids, grandkids. But when you find out this diagnosis, you realize life is going off script. And I think we've, we've learned over the years I mean, to uh, adapt to different situations and just kind of have fun. We wake up happy, there's a lot of singing, dancing. They say laughter's the best medicine, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> the Marinis meet daily challenges with an unshakable positivity and adventurous outlook. In 2016, Amy launched the Marini Bucket List an online community focused on raising awareness for cocaine syndrome. The Marini Bucket List is a public Facebook page that I had created to kind of document our fun. I wanted to make sure that we were inspiring other people to live. Yes, Lucas and Lara have a timeline, but we all have a timeline. <laughs> Overall, one of my favorite bucket list items is probably the indoor skydiving. Just <laughs> watching the kids in the tunnel, it's just kind of amazing. Amy and Cliff do so much to support their kids, but one thing that is still on the bucket list is a major basement renovation to support Lara and Lucas's special needs and spirit. If George and the Rescue was able to come in and help us out with the basement, it would be massive. It doesn't feel part of a house sometimes. I mean, it, it's cold, it's a little dark. I mean, we were down there playing recently and, and Lara ripped a piece of foam insulation off the wall and handed it to me. I mean, that's probably not something a, a kid should be able to touch. Our vision has always kind of been to bring the outdoors in. You know, the kids love animals. Even now, Lucas will go downstairs in the rough that it is calling for bears. There's so much to worry and think about on a daily basis. If George were to come in and finish our basement, it would really help ease our mind while at the same time giving the kids new adventures downstairs. It would mean the world to us. Who's here, man? <gasps> oh my gosh! How's it going? Ah! You must be Laura. I recognize your picture. How are you? Good. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, thank you so much. I like this is a dream come true. You really. Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, I don't even wow. know what to no. say. Obviously, I heard a story of, about Lucas and Lara. You're so inspiring, honestly. Just the, the way you just approach life. Sometimes there's just some things, it's just too much on the plate. And so we want to take that basement renovation off your plate and get that done for you. I saw your Facebook page and the bucket list. One of them is to be on TV, yes, so. Yes, sir, right? You guys you are gonna be, be on, on TV. TV. That's gonna be check that right like, off. I'm like, I, 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 there's no words, George. I'm like, I can't believe that you rang our doorbell. Woo, woo. <laughs> George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Painters Tape. For more info, go to scotchbrand.com slash painters tape. I am no stranger to warm embraces, but what just happened with the Marini kids was out of this world. I could literally feel Lara and Lucas's excitement. So to ensure that I get this basement absolutely perfect, I'm meeting up with the Ray Design Group's one and only Brittany Ray Lanzone. 
So the Marini's family basement is really not functional at this point. We really would like to bring the outside in. And when I need something like that, I go to J&M Lifestyles because Jeff, he can just dream big. This is our floor plan. We've got a main area space here, a bathroom space that we're mm -hmm. renovating, but we wanted something unique that was specific for the children that they can really be a part of. Uh, Lucas loves bears. What if you did something like like a playhouse, but what if it was uh, something like um, like a cave? Love so that. something that, that had... Because uh, they can go inside. They can go inside. I'm always coming from a story standpoint. So I'm, I'm thinking about Goldilocks. I'm thinking about, you know, this the three bears and stuffed animals that you can you could put in. Let's so Get yep. this ball moving. This is a great story, let's do it. All right, awesome. cool. The Marini's basement may be empty, but there is still a lot of work to do. NVG Construction's Neil Vandergroove, so there may be some jackhammering, and I can't think of a better way to break ground. All right, I may not be a rocket scientist, Neil, but I am able to deduce that if this is where the jackhammer is, this is where we're doing the jackhammering. That is correct. The challenge is we want to build a bathroom for them and they have a sump pump down there, which is good if you've got like rainwater coming into your basement and you just need to get water out. Since it's gonna be an active bathroom, we need something that's gonna grind everything yes, up exactly and right. then spit it out. That's why you're gonna jackhammer. That's why, thanks, that's why I got the jackhammer card. <laughs> The toughest part about jackhammering is your forearms go numb and your hands go numb after a while because you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just going like that, you know? And your whole body's shaking. It's a great workout. I mean, I'm feeling really, you know, buff right now. All right, lift with your legs, not with your back. And three, two, one, up! There we go. Whoa! Woo. Woo. That was snug. Out with the old, now it's time to put in the new. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. The original plumbing in this basement was, it was, just wasn't good. It was nothing that we were gonna be able to salvage. So we put in a ejector pump with a grinder and the guys from Bianco Diamond Plumbing have taken it from there. We're in a basement, I mean, are we gonna be able to reach the uh, the roof? Yes, we're gonna bring all the venting up into the back of the utility closet here and then we're gonna go up the uh, hallway and up to the roof. What's up, Jeff? Great hey, to see George, you again, Hey, George, see you again. How's that really? Things are good, things are good. Brittany came up with this idea of creating a bear den in the basement. So Jeff and his crew from JM Lifestyles have arrived. And this is this is crazy. This is something we've never done on George Rescue. So with the rock work, we're gonna take a rebar and bend right. it in the shape of a tree. Okay. Wrap it with laths, spray cement over it, paint it up, and we're, we're good to go. That, yeah, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> you know, yeah, just gonna bend some rebar. Me, you, Superman. <laughs> Jeff makes bending rebar look easy. Even with the tools, it is not easy. How's it coming, George? Oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> just bend the rebar. It's another day. I thought I was getting a workout just loading the rebar in here. <laughs> I didn't realize the real workout was actually bending the rebar. Consider me learned. Right now, it's literally all about the logistics of putting this whole thing together. We got all the wire mesh, and now we got the guys from Highland Electric here because they're gonna have to run all of their conduit up through this maze of what will become the bear den tree cave. All else fails, I'll build bear caves. It's a bear of a project. So the plan is to spray this and coat all of this rebar. So that's where it's all gonna come out of. <laughs> and then build it out enough so that we can get the shape of the tree that we want. Building this giant bear cave tree was just the beginning. Now we have decorative painters coming in, people that Brittany brought through the doors. Everybody has been working feverishly to get this basement finished for the Marini family. Short Hills Marble and Tile has done so much with me. They came through for us huge. They provided the tile on the floor and they also provided the tile on the walls for the shower. True cabinetry also came in for us, and we have a beautiful double 72-inch vanity, which provides space for both of the kids to be able to wash their hands if they need to while they're down here. Neil and his team framed out a portion of the wall for a chalkboard that the kids could use for arts and crafts. 
we don't want to get any chalkboard paint on the wood trim, so I'm using my Scotch Blue Painter's Tape for sharp paint lines. Hey, what's up, Rob? How are you, George? Good, buddy. See, so we got all the guys from JNS here laying down the floor. Last time you helped us out on the rescue, we were putting down wood floor. This is floor solid crack. vinyl, yeah. Yeah, this is vinyl. It looks like grass. Yeah, it does look like grass. It's made to look like grass. Well, the whole idea is we're trying to bring the, yes. the outdoors in. To the naked eye, it looks like grass. Yeah. You guys, once it's all said and done, you're gonna be like, who's gonna mow this place? Yeah. Nobody's mowing it. This rescue is all about bringing the outdoors inside the Marini's basement. But before I can bring them home, I have a very special surprise in store for them. Holy smokes, I gotta take a picture. <laughs> New 3M Filtrate Room Air Purifiers are great at capturing dust and smoke from your construction project. Outfitted with a true HEPA filter. Look for Filtrate Room Air Purifiers online to learn more and find a retailer near you. It's no secret that the Marini Kids love animals. So today we are at the Essex County Turtleback Zoo for an exclusive tour. And away we go! First stop, we are going to find penguins. Land, they're almost the same size as you, pal. Okay. Who's this? Who's this <gasps> character? Well, hello. Hi there, pal. You know your friends are watching, right? So do something really funny for TV. Me and myself, I got a little phobia of fish. I don't like touching them, but I am going to touch the shark. Oh my, no, I don't know. We also have our epilep shark that you can touch with two fingers down its back. Yeah, I don't know about that. I can do this. I can do this. I can definitely do this. Oh my god. OK, yep, that's, woo. Check that off my bucket list. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Louis. Unfortunately, these kids can't get out as much as they'd want to. And being able to be here at the zoo, up close and personal with these animals, it's an amazing experience for them. Black Bear Trail. Oh, wow. oh my gosh! Holy smokes, I gotta take a picture. Look in the window. It was so great to see Lucas with the bear today. You could see the smile on his face. He was having such an incredible time. These kids absolutely love bears. When they see what we've created for them, they're going to love it. Huh? What do you think? Now, this is what I call a bear hug. Brittany, it wouldn't be a George to Rescue design day if we didn't have all the trades here at the same time. Electricians, Neil and his guys, the plumbers, and, and you, of course. And, and you are coming to the rescue right now because I have a bear bed. A bear bed? A bear bed. So, let's talk about the bear in the room. We've got a bear cave. Yes, we have a bear cave, folks, in the basement in Long Valley, New Jersey. We have really cool bedding. We have log furniture. Into the bear cave. Oh, it's you nice and lit up. The woods today. We've got some books and some crafts, and Wayne Tile provided us with a heated floor. So the kids will be able to be warm and cozy inside their bear cave. The bear essentials. But no, bear necessities, my friend. Most designers have their entire career doing some really cool things. I don't think there are many that can say that they've designed the interior of a bear cave. George, we got bears! Wow, that's a lot of bears. Mommy, daddy. Baby bear. Baby bear. Just right. And Goldilocks. <laughs> Lift and pivot. Yeah. Uh, I have no muscles. That's right. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Performance fabrics are huge. People want to have great spaces that have great style, but aren't a lot of maintenance. So Universal Furniture came in, outfitted this whole basement with fantastic styled furniture. Woo! Yeah, there we go. It works. This is nice. Take a nap? Yeah, get used to okay. this. You're gonna, very zen. I'm gonna do a nap on the rug. You can do a nap very there. Zen. Oh. 
Hans Grohe came in and supplied all of the plumbing for the kitchenette space as well as all the plumbing for the bathroom. And we also have hardware from J Designs and SoCo Hardware. They provided us with these really great cast metal butterflies. Super fun. So we're definitely bringing the outdoors in, but we don't necessarily want to bring in all like the pollen and dust and bacteria and all that stuff that's floating around in the air. We want to make sure that we keep the air as fresh and pure as humanly possible. That's why we got this awesome 3M filtrate room air purifier. What's really fun with kids is they're very observant and they like to see things happen. So them having limited access to outside and then being able to have this indoors, I think it's gonna be very good for them mentally and, and physically. Goal from the beginning of this project was to give the Marini kids that outdoor experience inside their house. But I didn't realize that we were gonna be able to create our own little world here, living, breathing world. It's gonna mean the world to the Marini family and I just hope that the kids truly have just a wonderful experience discovering day in, day out, all that this space can be. How's everyone doing? Do you wanna lead the way with me? All right, sounds good, here we go. Wow! <laughs> this is insane! George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by The Residence Inn by Marriott, located in Mount Olive, New Jersey. Hey guys! <laughs> How's everyone doing? It was just amazing to see George again. The kids were saying his name hundreds of times. Welcome back, Marini family. I hope you guys had a great stay. How was everything at the uh, residence in Mount Olive? Oh, it was amazing. The kids made a lot of friends there. They had a great time. Well, I'm glad you guys were comfortable, but there's no place like home. And although we didn't do anything up here, downstairs, I think, is 180 degree transformation. Do you want to lead the way with me? All right, sounds good. Here we go. Oh. These butterflies. Oh. What do you think? Oh my god. Put you down? <gasps> Holy moly! <laughs> Look, Lucas. I mean, my first thing, I noticed there's butterflies in the wall. Those weren't there before. <laughs> the steps are carpeted. I mean, it just looked, everything was different from the start. It's so open and airy and all the amazing features that all of the team put together. This doesn't even look like the same basement. You're just in shock that, like, I cannot believe that this is my house. This tree is insane. Look, look at the bear. Look. This is your bear cave. Go in, let's see. Oh my gosh. There's a bed in here. Who's going to yeah. this bed? Mommy. Mommy's too. <laughs> what are you doing in this little bear cave, bud? Oh my gosh. We saw, you know, <laughs> Lucas was smiling, Lara, I mean, all the kids. Yeah, Lucas got very noisy, which means he's happy. Oh, yeah, that's the idea. We wanted a comfy, safe place for you to take naps. Maybe Lucas just wants a little time in his cave. I know how that is. <laughs> I have no words. I have no words at all. <laughs> we could have never done this. Never, ever have done this for the kids. And this is just, <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. The bear cave on the outside looks like the stump of a gigantic tree. But then when you go in and you see that inside there's the kids' names written, like as if it was carved there for them. And that to me is like, it'll, it'll forever be like that, even when the kids potentially aren't here. And that, I, like I'm I, the the butterflies. I really, particularly the blue. <laughs> we have a bear cave in the basement, surrounded by butterflies, which is so significant. You know, cocaine. A lot of the symbols of transformation is butterflies, and so it's just so amazing to see how butterflies are all over the place. Yeah! <laughs> She's calling yeah! George. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Oh my, I didn't know that thing swung that high. 
Holy goodness. <laughs> when you throw out this topic of bring the outside in, you never anticipate that almost every aspect of outside will have actually be in. <laughs> Oh, there's fish in there. There's fish in there. Huh. So this table is not just a table for hanging out and, and, and eating at. Everything except for the rocks is alive. So we have fish in there. We really wanted to have an interactive like ecosystem for the kids. Yeah. Hi, fishies. Look, a baby. A, fish. a baby fish, yeah. I mean, the table, when I first looked at it, I thought, this is not something that's normally inside. This is, this table is incredible. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely just, unimaginable that it's in our in our basement now and it really feels like we are outside. I'm trying to check as much off that bucket list as we can, you know? Uh, you wanna yeah. be on TV? Okay, we got that. You wanna have like a tree house? Wow, we'll do that. A bear cave? Maybe there's some things that were even on the bucket list that you can put on the bucket list and just check them immediately. That's how it happens. Yeah. I would say we hit check marks off of off the bucket list to be able to have an outdoors inside safe basement for the children big fat check to raise awareness for cocaine syndrome big giant check to teach people to spread kindness and to enjoy life and live life no matter what big 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 fat check yeah. Yeah.